Defenders of Dead Broadcast. Hi, this is David Leva Hart, and I'm very, very disappointed in Des Moines, Iowa. There are so many um, habitual liars that say they're fans, and they're not. That young lady lied to me with her boyfriend and said they were going to take me to church, had me wait in the rain. I called them 10 times. They told me to be ready at 9, never showed up. Then a young lady by herself said she was a big fan of David Lee Hart. Let her get a free picture. She says if I gave her gas money ahead of time, she'd show up. She never showed up. So I had to walk to the rain in a church, uh, something like 10 miles. And it was raining, raining, just raining. And then I had to walk back. And then the Chinese restaurant, the guy, uh, uh, I asked him, I told him I wanted gravy for my rice. He said, what's gravy? I said, I wanted sugar for my tea. What's tea? So I said, you know, I, and it's on this menu. I just got up and walked out of uh, uh, Mr. Egg Rolls, and I normally like Chinese food, but I mean, all of this, the Moines, Iowa, has been a deep down, just drag out disappointment with fans that are liars and deceivers. They have no respect for uh, an actor and a musician coming to their town. If you're not going to show up or you're not going to do something, just shut the f*** up. Don't come up and lie to me and say, I'm going to I'm gonna take you to dinner, I'm going to take you to church, and you don't even bother to show up. I mean, like Shakespeare says, to thine own self be true. I'm talking to you and your girlfriend and the other single girl. You know, you like to say it, but you, I mean, you, you, I hope someday you become a star and, 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 you, and, and, and someone comes to your town and stands you up and is arrogant and disrespectful to you. I mean, you are are, are less than a, uh, uh, um, a, a, uh, a fan to me. You're disrespectful. If I ever come to Des Moines, I, 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 I will please don't bother coming to my shows because you don't show any dignity or respect for the artists. You know, you're you're worse than 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 than, than the Republicans. You're worse than any. Uh, arrogant, racist, conservative person against blacks and, and minorities. You are nothing and nobody and rude and cold and despicably unprofessional. And that's to the three people that stood me up in Des Moines, Iowa. So please don't bother calling me. Don't bother apologizing me. Just stay out of my way. I, you're, uh, uh, I'd like us to just go separate ways, like my ex-wife, Bridget, I'd like to forget about her, and I'd like to forget about you. You have no class at all. And why would you lead me on when you know you weren't going to make it? And then the, and then the guy is a, a big liar. He said, he, 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 he said I'm going to have uh, my, my girl that works at, at Jumbo T is going to be there and make it up to you since Jumbo T denied, and denied you service. She's going to, uh, she, uh, my girlfriend Jumbo T is going to show you are a racist worse than any of your, the conservative, rednecks, Ku Klux Klan, neo-Nazis, racist English, uh, jolly liars. I'm deep vile. I do forgive you, but please don't come to my shows. Please, I don't need Judas's or Peters around me. You, you're, you're, you're just as bad as Judas was to Jesus. You're just as bad as uh, Peter was to Jesus. And nobody can believe anything you say because you're a habitual liar and you're a phony. And yeah, I don't believe you really like me as a fan. This, if you like someone, you don't stand them up. You don't lie to their face. I'm talking to you three fans that stood me up in Des Moines, Iowa. I am deeply disappointed in all three of you. And I think it's best that we part our ways and please don't come to my show anymore please you're we're not for fans you're not my fans you are you're just i think it's best that we go separate ways 
they're just, you know, you really don't respect me or appreciate me as an actor or a musician or an artist. And you, and words alone are vain. There's nothing you can do or say, but please just don't come to my shows when I come to Des Moines, Iowa again, because you're not welcome, you're not respectful of me, and uh, you're, you're the reason why people don't want to come to your town. You're, 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 you're just, but well, cars moving over. But anyway, uh, you're going to have to hold your hands because it's raining on the car wheels. So I, uh, that's the worst, I, I got, when I was with Out of Pop again, um, I had this, uh, I was in a band, punk rock band with him. I had three people from Des Moines, Iowa, when I was traveling through there that lied and promised to take me for pizza, had me to sit in the nightclub when everybody had gone to the hotel. Nobody showed up, and I waited there till five in the morning. So I, I can't take people seriously in Des Moines, Iowa. I hate to say it, you all are plastic. You're like the, the health food I had that had no taste to it. You just, uh, where did we have that health food? It was, uh, it was the worst health food I had in St. Paul, Minnesota. Uh, okay, uh, anyway. Hear that, Des Moines? We hate all of you. I don't hate all of you. I just hate the people that stood me up. I don't hate all of you. I love everybody equally. I don't hate anybody. I just don't want to go to that hate level because... I am against racism. I'm just totally dis uh, disappointed in your irresponsibleness, in your rudeness, and your coldness. Now, and then to call me, this jerk guy called me and texted me and said he was going to give me a ride to the ch to church and hang out with me. And then the dude in Des Moines, Iowa, never showed up. He called me at three in the morning. He's full of sh. He's uh, you know. Um, and I and and, and I, I, I I'm blocking all your phone numbers and your texts. I don't want your 515 numbers. You all are phony Tonys, and I can't deal with you anymore. So uh, I would like the people that do like me and do care about me to let it known that what these uh, three fans did to me was unacceptable behavior. I wouldn't believe would be a bit surprised if they were. We're, we're, we're deep down inside Ku Klux Klan or neo-Nazis uh, spying on my shows just like that Travis who took my my phone and called me up. I'm I got your phone. I'm going to mail it back to you. I had no I, uh, no interest in mailing back my phone. And now I'm without uh, a phone for my other phone number. So uh, I, I just uh, really outdone and disappointed in Des Moines, Iowa. I put, I, I put my best into your show. I gave you extra songs. I did stand-up comedy. I really worked hard for you all, and you let me down by not even showing up to drive me to church in the morning like you said you were going to do, do. So, uh, like Shakespeare says, to I own self be true. And uh, I can see why Tim and Eric don't want to come out and meet fans like you all. You all are disrespectful. I guess you treat your parents like that too. Your parents, you're gonna take your parents out to dinner on Father's Day and Mother's Day and you stand them up. Well, someday you three individuals, you two women and that one guy with his girlfriend, I hope someday you become 64 years old and you uh, get, get stood up by people that you think that likes you a lot but really don't. So uh, I don't know what to say, but I just you give me a lot to forgive and a lot to release. So uh, I hope I never see you three uh, people at my shows again. I really appreciate if you close the door on the other side. You're not welcome at my shows standing me up like that. I don't dislike you. I dislike your rock behavior and your unprofessionalism. Okay, I'm going to tell you something. You three arrogant people at Des Moines, Iowa, that think it's so funny you stood me up. Do that to your job. Do that to your your, your class, your, your, your classes and see what kind of good grades you get. Do that to your boss. 
and see how long you keep your job. You know, just keep on being a smart ass. They'll get you nowhere in the world being a smart ass. All three of you. Well, it's rainy. I do want to thank the people that did come and support me in, in Des Moines, Iowa, and that did buy my my uh, my uh, stuff. I want to thank my loyal fans that did show up. But the three people that lied and said they were going to drive me that didn't show up. I think it's best you all close the door on the other side. I think it's best we go separate ways. You know, David, my suggestion, since this has happened so many times... Is... It hasn't happened so many times. It's only happened mostly in Des Moines, Iowa, and Delaware. Those two states. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's happened more than that. Uh, no, yeah. it hasn't. You have, you've only been with me five years, and it has not happened all the time. Okay. Well, I didn't my... get stood up. I didn't get stood up. And other places, just those two states have been have been really bad stinkers. My point is, maybe when you make deals with drunk people after a show, you should take it with a grain of salt and not be so. Well, okay, uh, okay, you you get, up. you get stood up. You get stood up. You get stood up. So you're 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 you're. you're yeah, I'm disappointed in you. So you're rubbing it in for kids to be rude and disrespectful. No, I'm no, 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 no. No, you're rubbing it in. That's disrespectful, Jonah. I'm saying that, uh, for uh, your own good. No, 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 But I, no, 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 for my peace of mind, you're not going to be sincere. You're not going to show up. Please don't make a date with me. Please. If you're not going to be honest and you're not going to back up your words, if you're not going to back up what you're going to say you do, please don't waste my time or your time. And please don't give me your phone number. If you know you, if you're not going to show up, just just leave me alone. I don't need phony Tonys in my life. At 64 years old, I don't need liars in my life, people that I can't trust. You know, if, if, yeah, I, I, I can, you don't ever give me for, intri- uh, for, for uh, reference for Tim and Eric because I... Uh, I, I, I would give you all bad reference, not showing up, not being respectful. It's just, it's wrong. Two and two is, is four. Wrong is wrong. Just like it's wrong that you, you listen, that uh, Joni, you listen to all these civil rights things about blacks being mistreated, Latinos being mistreated. Those white fans are just as wrong as, as, as the people that are doing injustice in America. They're wrong. They're, they're worse than Hitler. They're, they're worse than, than all the Ku Klux Klan or a white supremacists in the world. That is just despicably wrong. Evil, evil, evil. They're, they're the same whites that betrayed the American Indians and the Latinos and stole their land from them. They're the same ones. The same rotten eggs. But you know, there's karma. And all you three individuals that did that dirt to me, there's going to be a time when someone's going to stand you up and lie to you and, 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 and flake out on you. Well, they'll probably go to hell and burn for eternity, uh, right? I won't say they're going to burn for eternity, but they'll have everlasting punishment for their lack of love and their lack of sincerity. Uh, I'm just, uh, I feel, uh, I, uh, I'm grateful for the tr- fans that did come out here and support me and buy things to me in Iowa, but I'm deep down disappointed and the young lady that lied to me and said she was going to drive me to church and I was and I'm disappointed and the other uh, guy and his girlfriend that lied to me I let them get a free picture and they and they let me down and uh, I even gave them she said it was, uh, I'll take gas money you know I just uh, all I can say is do that to your boss at work. Tell him you're going to be at work and don't show up. See how long you keep your job. Do that too when you have a final or you're taking a, 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 take, uh, classes in school. You just try not to show up for that uh, the semester. Don't look into getting a good grade. Uh, anyway, you all gave out bad karma. You gave out very you're very disloyal and disrespectful you three individuals that pulled that on me and, and then to keep on so I had to walk in the rain 
without an umbrella everywhere, which is very low down and disrespectful. They're not my fans. You're the worstest enemies I could ever have. Whoa. You're the worstest, worse than the people that brought my black side over as slaves. You are a lower than lower. You're the worst than the people that 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 that, 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 uh, that uh, abused. You know, you're just as worse as all the people in our politics that are making everything backwards and stale. So, anyway, uh, I, I have to do a lot of praying and a lot of forgiving, but I just think it's best that, you know, let there be no strife between us, we be brethren. It's best that you three individuals don't come to any of my shows or performance. You have let me down as an actor and a musician in such a disrespectful way. So I'm going to, it was a rainy day. I was in the rain, drenched in the rain. I walked six miles to a denomination I'd never been to. How'd you get so dry? Well, it's easy. You're really a, 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 a disrespectful like them. Just curious. I, it's, if you, you're, you're you know, you, you, I don't, I'm disappointed. I thought you were my friend. And now I you're that, you don't disrespect me like these, 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 these three individuals. Uh, I walked in the rain. I've been sitting in the dry car for uh, uh, almost two, two hours going to uh, Des Moines. But I was wet. I did get in, I did finally go to Walgreens and get a, 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 a red envelope, but a red umbrella. But I was drenched. I took my clothes off, my jacket off at the Methodist church I visited, even though I'm not Methodist. Well, anyway, I am uh, going to sign out, but anyway, Please give me the energy and, the, and to forgive and release people. I like they say I, I'm going to bless and release those people in situations that no longer serve the bless. The Jama uh, T place and the three phony uh, fans that stood me up. Okay, I guess that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching. David, leave my heart. This weather was very rough walking. I should have just went to bed and forgot about it. You know what I'm going to do from now on? When a person doesn't show up in 10 minutes, I'm going to stay from now on at the hotel or the BM and just go back to bed. Sounds like a good idea. Correction, I'm 61, born April the 19th, 1957. Uh, sorry to broadcast. I beat myself three years older. I should always want to stay younger instead of older. I look like I can pass for 30. I'm 60. Thank you.